If you're a business owner and you're thinking whether or not you should use Angel Leads for your company, in this video I want to show you some of the biggest problems with using sites like Angel Leads and I want to give you some alternatives as well. Now I really need to clarify something in the beginning. I'm not against using sites like Angel Leads. If you're using sites like Angel Leads and you're finding ways to make these, like, these kind of websites profitable for your company, then good for you. Keep using them. I hope it will stay profitable for your company for a very long time. But these issues still exist and a ton of contractors are facing them. I'm going to post a bunch of screenshots over here so you can see that. Now, as somebody who works with a lot of construction companies on their marketing, I know for a fact that a lot of these companies are making Angel Leads profitable for their company. But also, a lot of these businesses have failed to use Angel Leads properly. Now, you can blame it on Angel Leads, you can blame it on these kind of people that maybe they don't have some sales skills or whatever, but I do believe that these issues still exist. So, what are some of these big problems that people complain about when it comes to using Angel Leads? A lot of people complain that the quality of their leads is really, really bad. Also, you're paying NG leads to compete with your website and to compete with your company in your local area. And one of the biggest problems is the fact that you make your business dependent on NG leads and this can crush your business later on. Now, let's get started with the first problem, the poor quality of leads. Now, this isn't true for every single one of these industries. Now, what I noticed is that construction companies in general, especially if you are doing bathroom remodeling, kitchen remodeling, and similar services, face these issues more so than some other niches, like, for example, pressure washing. Now, in my personal opinion, the reason why this is happening is because kitchen remodeling, bathroom remodeling, and those kind of projects are pretty big projects. So you're looking to invest a lot of money, and you want to do research on the company that you want to deal with. You don't want to just fill out the form and then have a bunch of different companies contact you in order to start working with you. No, you want to take your time or you might be in a shopping phase. So a lot of people might fill out the form and they might not even be ready to buy. They might just uh, be looking to see more companies in their area or something. But then they get hit up by all these different companies that are looking to get their business. So the quality of those leads definitely depends on the niche you're in. Now, I don't want to put all the blame on Angel Leads either because a lot of people who are using Angel Leads successfully are going to say that your sales skills are bad. Now, if you know that you don't have any issues with your sales skills and that you're closing leads without any issues and all that, then the problem is most likely with Angel Leads, of course. Also, some people that are using Angel Leads successfully are going to say that you didn't call the leads really quickly. So that might be another issue, which is pretty reasonable. To better explain that, let's look at how Angel Leads actually finds these leads. Now, a lot of people go straight to Angel Leads because this is a reputable company. People know about this company. It's a huge company. I keep saying company for some reason. <laughs> but anyway, people know about this website. People know that this is a place where you go to find contractors. So, of course, a lot of people are going to go straight to Angel Leads. And this is a small group of people that you can't access through other methods, basically, unless you advertise straight to them, which can be pretty tricky. Now, another way that people find Angel Leads is through Google, because sites like Angel Leads advertise through Google Ads, and they also show up on regular search results. Now, the reason why this is a problem is because a lot of people who are in the research phase are going to go to these kind of websites give them their information and they're not going to be ready to buy. Meanwhile, when somebody is looking to get a kitchen remodeling project done or they're just looking for a remodeling contractor in their area, they're going to go to Google, type in remodeling contractor near me and all that, and then they will list through all these local companies. They're going to take a look at their websites, take a look at their reviews, the pictures of their work, and then they're going to contact the company that they believe can help them. So the difference between this lead who is still in the research process or might not be ready to buy and the lead that you get through your website is absolutely huge. And it's also the fact that like if your website is actually well built, uh, people will get to know you before they actually get on a call with you. People will learn more about you. They will learn about the services you provide. So they will pretty much call you and they will be already ready to buy. So, of course, the difference in quality of those leads compared to the leads that you get through your website, if you did a good job with that stuff, is going to be enormous. But again, the quality of these leads is something you can work with. So, if you are a contractor and you're just looking to keep yourself busy because you don't have any projects booked and all that, then using sites like Angie definitely makes sense. But if you want to get more specific types of projects or if you just want to be independent, 
then of course it will be a lot more difficult. Now the second biggest problem with using sites like Angelis is the fact that you basically pay these kind of websites in order to get them to compete for your company, which is just absurd. Now you can make the argument that people click on sites like Angelis because they know these companies and they click on these companies for that reason. But in my opinion, if there weren't sites like Angelis and if there weren't sites like HomeAdvisor and other similar websites, even though there are these kind of websites and we should use them if we can and make them profitable and all that. If there weren't these kind of websites, it will be a lot easier for these local companies to actually get more visibility, show up to a lot more people, rank their listings higher on Google and basically get more website visitors and of course uh, get more clients. So Angie Leads basically acts like a middleman where they basically collect all these people and then sell them to these businesses. Meanwhile, if you have a website, if you focus on SEO, if you focus on your Google business listing, you basically cut off the middleman and you get these leads directly to your website. Now, of course, I already mentioned the benefits of getting these leads is the fact that uh, these people that contact you actually want to work with you. They already know your company. They already kind of get to know you as well through your website. Uh, so, of course, the quality of these leads is going to be much higher. And this leads me to the third and probably the biggest problem with using sites like Angel Leads. And that's the fact that even if you can make them profitable for your own company, you still shouldn't fully depend on them. Try to create some other sources of leads as well. Because tomorrow, if Angelis decides to change something about their policy, if your business fully depends on them, then of course this can screw you over. You're pretty much putting the fate of your business in the hands of Angelis. Now, you shouldn't do this with anything else. Even if you're just getting leads straight from Facebook, try to build these other sources of leads as well because tomorrow you never know what's going to happen. Now, now this isn't just a problem with Angel Leads. Even if they don't change anything about their policy forever, you still don't want to fully depend on them because tomorrow people can just stop using Angel Leads. You know, and what are you going to do then? You're going to have to pretty much start from scratch instead of building these kind of other sources immediately. So that's why I always recommend you to focus on your website, focus on your Google business listing, because these kind of things can never be taken away from your company. And uh, that's pretty much the point that I wanted to make in this video. So if you want me to take a look at your website and give you some free tips of what you can do to get better results, then feel free to go to this website. I'll be happy to take a look at your company, share you some tips, and uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or if you want to see more of these kind of videos, then definitely subscribe to this channel because I'll be covering a bunch of similar topics. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.